Yep, looks good. Thank you. Okay, guys, thank you for introduction. Uh, as I Stephanie said, my name is Franciszek and this is my uh, best friend Arthur. We're doing arthropods things uh, in entomologic world and crustacea, etc. So we are from Poland. We study at Warsaw University of Life Science in Polish Szkoła Główna Gospodarstwa Wiejskiego. So this is exotic name. And we work in university also as a science club named Atlas, and uh, we're doing many things by that uh, science club. We study uh, breeding and preservation of white and companion animals. This is our the second year in engineers, in the engineers world. Uh, so in Poland and our title of our presentation, short urban grass versus urban meadow as a source of diversity of terrestrial heteroptera in cities. And this is very, this is not ambitious project. This is very short, also project from our very short summer, but we did something and we want to show you all, all of you, yeah? So now guys, okay. So let's, uh, now guys, I will take you to the Central Europe and you will see uh, uh, all of my country. So let's see the Poland, let's go to the Poland. In Poland, we have uh, 776 species of Heteroptera. For some of you, this is a lot of species. So for the other person, it can be mm, very less Heteroptera because in the tropic, I have many, 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 like thousands of species. We have only one species of Mantodea, Mantis religiosa, uh, only four species of Megaloptera, but the science you know Megaloptera like 300 species. But of course, Hymenoptera order or Coloptera is very rich in also in our region, in Central Europe. Poland is located in moderate climate, climate so it means we have spring, summer, autumn and, um, and the winter. So we don't, we cannot do the field research all the year because this is almost impossible. We start in May and we finish at September. So topography of Poland is so diverse, so diverse country because we have we have sea in the north, we have many mountains in the south of our country, but our project was did in the Warsawia, so our capital city, and this is Mazavian region, and this is generally flat space, full of forest, uh, agriculture of course also, and some cities like the Warsaw, but any other cities include. And of course, the Vistula River, very important for that region because she creates many things like the wet of the soil, etc. you know. So another introduction still. So cities can be attractive place to live for many kinds of animals, you know, uh, mammals and birds, but uh, I mean also the insects. And there are so many reasons for that. Why the cities are so attractive to many kinds of life. So, uh, for example, urban heat island. And urban heat island is, this is a new phase for the science. That means uh, cities can be a place to, um, place where the temperature and the, uh, for generally, temperature can be very stable. So, in the cities with the with the um, place where we have uh, spring, uh, summer, autumn, autumn and the winter. Uh, in the winter, when we have winter time, it can be more uh, warm. So, uh, for the example, invasive species that they are from tropical region can survive in the cities. So, in the countryside, they cannot survive, but in the cities, they can survive more diverse landscape than in the village, because as you know, in the village, we have the future village and the agriculture, you know, what that's mean? Monoculture, monoculture of vegetables, uh, corn, any other uh, wheat in the Asian, we have monoculture of rice. And this is, this is not good for insect because only one, uh, only one uh, food and this is, this is not good for them and greater restriction of the, uh, on the use of pesticides than in the countryside. Many people think, oh, I want to live in the uh, village because they have very fresh air and the water, etc. But this is not true. 
and sometimes it's more safe to live in the cities because pesticides can uh, they can be dangerous for human because they can make uh, many uh, sick like like cancer for example and much more so still introduction by many factors cities are more sensitive for climate change than the countryside there is almost one way to protect white invertebrates like heteroptera of course by protective environmental and biodiversity and despite the obvious fact people still doing many wrong things in the our, in our project we will focus only on one human activity and this is very common human activity excessive moving of lungs and the importance of meadows in the cities and as you know i don't know why but people like flat green space flat green space and this is for my for my opinion this is not good and this is this is not beautiful it's just green flat space without any flowers and one single flower and the science showing us that this is completely wrong and if you want survive in the new era of new hundred uh, in our uh, history as a species etc we need we have to change this because if we um, it will just drop it down it will be only negative for 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 us yeah so our goal in the that project was simple uh, we picked two versailles parks with different level uh, of anthropo pressure uh, from uh, entire of Skarszewski Park, so popular domination of large old tree uh, and short grass fields as a place for picnics, park near centrum, meets of park Dolina Służewiecka, less popular than Skarszewski Park, more far to centrum, also alone uh, moving less often, uh, since May to uh, September, uh, we tried to collection heteroptera to compare them. In that part uh, of presentation, we have two pictures of the left uh, with low uh, anthropo pressure Kal, uh, Dolina Służewiecka near our uh, university. Uh, between on the right side, Park Skareszewski, uh, with high level of anthropo pressure. Mm -hmm. mm. Our hypothesis uh, more species of plants, not only few of Poetae grasses means bigger environmental more foods for heteroptera so we should notice more individuals of the same species and generally more insects from heteroptera mm, since may to september when weather was optimal we we're going to Trubax hunting to the one of two parks. Uh, we using medium and tiny insect pins, medium and large insect net. Insects were killed by alcohol 95%. We gathered some Polish case to native heteroptera. We also used website heteroptera US edu.pl. We used also stereo microscope and also application iNaturalist. Uh, in the picture are able to see our stuff uh, like insect nets or stereo microscope. We keep that thing in my room of uh, your science group atlas yeah, in our science club and we're going so let's see the results so 
What the project show? We gather more than 50 individuals. Not all are in not all are in project in, in, in our naturalist project. We describe more than 10 species of heteroptera for that project, and we have still some undescribed species. A difference exists between species depending on the origin, the parks, and the title. Short urban grass versus the meadow. So that means we see the difference when we start to picking some heteroptera in our field work, we almost uh, instant see the difference between uh, one fauna and the second fauna. And let's see the comparison of species from the two parks. So Paras Karyshevsky, with very high of anthropo pressure when people go into the picnic or walk with the dogs, we have many also the tourists, only very old trees and just flat uh, place uh, space of grass and what we what we saw only very few species but uh, in the opposite we have Pardorina Służewiecka with low with low anthropo pressure far from more far from the centrum than Park Skaroszewski so Park A so Park B means the meadows in the cities because they could think the laws also more rare than in the Park Karyszewski. And you can see uh, the species. Uh, so we have Alia cuminata, Stenodema lavigata, Stenodema calorata, and the nabis, of course, and species that can survive only in the grass, and that grass can be very uh, good. It's very, it can be very short, very short. They they don't need also they don't need uh, many flowers or more rich flora. They can survive just in the grass because you can see stenodema living by, uh, for example, uh, sucking from uh, juice from grass, etc. We have also nabis as so just their uh, predator, yeah, because this is a species that hunting in the for uh, other heteroptera but also in the apids, etc. But in the park, uh, and also Elia cuminata, yeah? so a very, very popular species of heteroptera because they also uh, feeding on the grass. Uh, we, in, when we, when we've been in Barcelona, in the park Carcelo, we catch some Elia genius. So we, 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 we don't yet start to describe species from Barcelona, from Park Corsola, but I hope this it will be not Alia Cuminata, but maybe some, maybe other species from that genius. And Park Dorina Służewiecka, Park B with less anthropo pressure, many other species like Coleus marginatus, Carpocoris fusipanus, Dolicoris baccarium, Eurigaster, probably uh, Eurigaster maurum, Graphosoma linatum italicum, because that the only one species from uh, genus uh, Graphosoma that can live in Poland, we don't have any other. And also uh, uh, tribe Deracordini and the uh, family Deracordinae. So uh, after that, we will show you close uh, close look to our our lovely individuals. So Alia Cuminata, yeah, many observation in Park A and B. And uh, also we use Q, uh, K to describe and we base it on the spots on the legs, of course. So two, three legs, probably Alia Cuminata in almost 100%. Many also we use uh, the paper table. Also we know with the uh, with the date and also with the local locality. Uh, of course, as I said, uh, tribe da Corredini, Supremi de la Corinea, uh, um, uh, also very popular in part A and B. So that means they can they can live in very rich fauna, but they can also live in very um, very poor region, like you know, like the just flat grass place with uh, also very uh, usually when they cut down the trust at the grass trees something yes also uh, only one observation in a naturalist project but we saw a little more because uh, as i as i said we collected more than 50 individuals but sometimes uh, you know 
heterotrach and also they have wings of course like very like uh, future insects and they have very good eyes so they can uh, they can see objects also uh, and of course object in the move uh, so some, sometimes they can sometimes they escape from us etc sometimes we just so so oh look at this but we uh, we didn't take the chance to catch them or something like that but we just also observation so it was hunting and also observation so in our project we have only one a close marginatus but um, at the plants for example like rumex they were very popular uh, carpocoris fusipanus only park b you know because um, this species can prefer to and uh, maybe feeding on the raspberry the white raspberry and something like that and uh, the just the grass it's, uh, it's this is not uh, for them Dolichoris baccarum, the same situation, the same situation, but uh, with the very rich flora, is very popular. It's very popular species, but only in the case that we have very rich flora, not only the cut grass, the short grass, yeah? And Graphosoma linatum italicum, the only one species uh, of genus Graphosoma. This species also reminds me the Barcelona at something because they were very more popular than in the Poland, but in the Poland also. Uh, and of course, Stenodema Lavigata, bestseller of our project, very popular. In, in this picture, uh, we see a tree of individuals of Stenodema Lavigata and also two nabis in the, in the left and in the uh, right side, the most popular species from Park E and B. Imago as a brown and green color in Vijua. So they have also the active camouflage. So because uh, uh, another things about the climate change, etc. people, uh, because uh, very, very, uh, very tall grass and uh, very tall uh, also herbs, etc. They 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 have, uh, they are able to keep water, etc. But people don't, uh, don't care about this and they can cut the the grass down even if this is very very long term of sun days and the very hot days and sometimes after that activity we see only bald just the ground because the grass also was like burn yeah so maybe they have so they have also active camouflage because in the brown area they they become brown in the Green, they become green, green yeah. Uh, Stenodema carrata, so very, uh, very similar species because we have the same genus, but they have, uh, we also use, uh, as I say, the keys to, uh, for uh, native heteroptera in, in our country. And uh, as uh, in Amelia Cuminata, we, we're working on spots on the last pair of legs. But in the Stenodema, very, uh, very almost the same situation. But we saw, but we have to see that this is the bald region of the uh, of the last part of legs, or maybe they have horn, etc. And if they have horn, so we need to check two horns, this species, three horns, that species, and our also very amateur uh, observation imago only with green color in our project so stendema carata we have only stendema carata as a green not as a brown but they have cousin stendema uh, lavigata and we have brown and green nabis um, so observe in part a and b uh, very uh, very similar uh, species so probably uh, nabis can uh, fit on stenodema Probably yes, yeah, because they live in the same area. So, uh, some of them are feeding on grass, Nabi is uh, hunting from the grass. And results, our botanical insights. So, Kingdom Animalia almost cannot live without plants, yeah. In our opinion, some species or families of uh, plants, of course, mm -hmm. are so helpful to keep diversity of terrestrial heteroptera alive. And with uh, Apiakia, 
like daucus so you know the white rod uh, white carrot white carrot sorry white carrot we have polygonacea like rumex rumex very important plants if you want to see Creus marginatus in the nature uh, rosacea so very very rich uh, family of plants rose uh, rose fragaria rubus yeah Pentatomidea probably very love uh, that family because they have very uh, sweet juice from the just from uh, just from the leaves, but also from the of course fruits because we have uh, a higher level of of sugar. Yeah, sugar first uh, first uh, drugs in our planet. Yeah, sugar and Asterakia like Achillea or Taraxon, so some people, Astrakia, what can I say? For many of people, it's just the, the wheat in the grass. So when when normal people uh, see some, some, some plants, some herbs in the grass, they just buying some, some fluids that must uh, cut down that species, but herbs are very important in Heteroptera for many kinds of life. And this is almost, we almost finished. We want to say thank you to many people. Uh, Dr. Anna mazurkiewicz Woźniak and Dr. Dorota Tumialis, our um, almost baby, si baby sister in our university. They also, uh, they guiding our science club, Atlas. They doing a lot of things to us. Uh, we have also say thank you to Juliusz Galinski. And this is a student from another university and just uh, he have good stuff as a photography machine because he made the photography. And members of our lovely science club Atlas, all members of International Heteropteristic Society, in particular, of course, uh, Dr. Kristina Weyrauch, Dr. Katrina Menard, Stefanie Castillo, Tatiana Bush, for created True Back Tuesday because True Back Tuesday is amazing opportunity uh, for many entomologists. So. In one case, you will see very professional, uh, very professional uh, project um, and presentation for very famous people in that area of science. And sometimes you can see like us, so very young students, we we still looking our way in science, etc. But this is very, it was a big opportunity to be in Barcelona and being here. And I hope we will see each other in Bangkok. 2026. I hope we will hear the title, engineers, and maybe more. I hope so, maybe more. Mm -hmm. And uh, many other projects and publication. I will never uh, forget the words from Professor Marta Gola from Barcelona because she said, I will keep eye on you. We have also in, uh, we'll see each other in also um, uh, research gate, etc. So that's, uh, yeah. Okay, don't cry, Frank, don't cry, don't cry. So it's, I think it's almost done. And thank you very much for all of you. I will, okay, I will, enough, enough, Frank, enough. <laughs>